I just gotta hold on. I just gotta hold on. Well, I said I was going to uh, work on my book cover before I get on the airplane and get on the computer and all that. But because I have run across this, you know I gotta hit some balls. <laughs> I wanna see if I still got it. I wanna hit a couple balls. Make sure I ain't losing my touch with the clubs. Then I go work on my uh, more important work. That's me right there. That's me. That's how I'll be looking. I look just like that when I'm swinging the club. This is golf paradise. This is Disneyland for golfers. That's how you do it. <laughs> I'm working on my vlog. That is how you do it. What's up, big guy? Okay, so earlier I was telling you about how None of the stores can order my books. And I'm gonna show you what it says in my account. And the reason why I'm kinda concerned because if they can't order my books, that means that I ain't gonna make the money. Point blank. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. It says the processing title processing error. So See if I can get that taken care of today. I doubt it, because the time it takes to do something like this and try to do the book cover, it's time consuming. And I'm pretty sure people ain't gonna just stop what they're doing today just to help me out when they got other things that came in before me that they got to get out. Other projects that came in before me that they got to get out. So I am at Staples. So I did get one of my images uh, darkened because right now the, the book cover I have that won't go through, the whole cover is too dark. So what I'm gonna have to do is individually darken the images and then have the background a different color. So I had to separate the, uh, the images so the whole cover won't be too dark. So I just did one of the projects. I went ahead and emailed it to me. Yeah, it only cost a couple of dollars, so that's a start.
That way, when I get to California, there's one last thing I gotta do. Well, it's time for me to prepare for my departure. I gotta go in Walmart and pick up my little snacks I'm gonna need for my trip. So they don't feed you. And everything at the airport is expensive. So, I'm being prepared this time. Let's try to get me a couple of fruit, get my almonds. And make sure I have me a sandwich with me when I leave. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go in and see what they got to uh, see what they got to eat. It is hot out here today. Well, that's why I like to be early. So I ain't got to worry about rushing and being late for once. So I will be at the airport early. No excuse. The last time I was early, I fell asleep right in front of the gate. I almost missed my plane. Could not believe it. Almost missed my plane. Then when I got up to the gate and gave him my my my, uh, my, my, my paperwork, I went out the wrong door and set off the damn alarm. So I'll make sure I don't do that this time. I'll make sure I don't do that. Well, I'm at the mall. Go ahead and get me something to eat real quick. Get me a Subway sandwich, break it in half. Take half of it with me. I found a perfect spot where I can eat my sandwich. Can eat my sandwich and send off my emails. I'm kind of give you an idea how I send my emails off. I, I call it fishing, right? You put a whole bunch of bait out there in your email and you see what fish bites. <laughs> uh, now, I'm gonna give you an example. I sent down 50 emails and I had about four rejections saying, hell no, nah, we don't want you to show up. Then I had two of um, them that was saying uh, it was okay, but then I had one who I locked in the date. Vinegar and oil. Not too much though. It still has a lot of juice in that meat. Uh, honey mustard. Not too much, I don't want a whole lot. Light mayo. That's good. Give me um, creamy sriracha. That's good, that's good. So I just got through doing sending out a whole bunch of emails. This is what it looks like. And uh, just booked a ticket 
for one of my other book signings in Denver. And what I found out, well, this is how I do it. If you have a, 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 a book signing, you gotta buy a plane ticket. For one, try to book your out of town trip where you have to pay for a plane ticket uh, a, a one or two weeks after your payday. That way, you won't have to be waiting around for payday and you'll be able to buy your ticket right after you get paid for your plane ticket to go to that book signing. So say for example, this plane ticket here I just bought, it is um, June 29th. Today is the 19th or the 18th. I looked on there, it was real cheap. So I got my, my first like my one-way ticket right now right and then right after I get paid I get my round my return trip so that's gonna save me some money so instead of trying to buy the whole ticket at once if you can do it just go ahead and do it I personally feel more comfortable buying my one-way ticket on my way there and then the next week after that go ahead and get my other ticket so that's my situation now, if you balling, go ahead and get your ticket whenever you want to. But I just found out if you're able to get that ticket two or three weeks early, you can at least get the one-way ticket there. And then the next week, because if you got books to sell, go ahead and sell some books. Go ahead and buy your ticket the next week. But right now, I'm at the mall getting ready to get ready for my flight. So this is how my little setup be up when I be at the mall. Right? So I'll see, now what I did do is, I didn't actually send out those emails. I saved them, right? And I could have went in and, and, and added my description of my book and all that type of information. See, when I send the email, I send out certain information so that way they can read the email, if they got time to read it, read the email and decide if this is a good fit for the story. That's what they're gonna say. I'm a good fit for every store, right? I'm not just a good fit for this store over here. I'm a good fit for all the stores. But telling you what they will do, they'll look at your email, read it, they'll decide, say, okay, well, we think we can, you know, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be wrong anyway because they have people that come into bars and nobles and, and don't, who they think is a good fit and don't sell no books. But I have stores that turn me down, telling me, "Oh, we don't think your we have, I don't think your book is a good fit for our store, our location." And whatever, you know what I'm saying? I have not been nowhere where I haven't had a bad book signing. So you can't tell me my book is not a good fit. So that's some bullshit they come up with. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. But get back on the subject and get upset about that. Well, I tell you what, I tell you about the situation I had. I'm not gonna say what store because I still want to have a chance to get at that store. For, about a, for almost a year I've been sending them an email. So one day I am in Las Vegas doing a book signing. Hold on one second. So one day I'm in Las Vegas doing a book signing and uh, I'm doing my thing, people walking in, you know, doing my thing. So a guy walks in, he said, you know what? You need to come up to our store. I said, oh, I said, where are you located? Oh, we're in California. And the only store that I know that I haven't been able to get into is the store in the Bay Area. As close as I'm gonna let you know, the store in the Bay Area. I say, is it in the Bay Area? He said, yes. I said, don't tell me, is that blank, blank, blank store? He said, yeah. I said, man, I've been trying to get in that store for about a year and your gatekeepers won't even let me uh, do a book signing. Right? So, oh, just send me an email, a, attention to me, my name, and I take care of that. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even send them emails on them. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But what I am going to do, I'm going to wait a while and let time go by. And when I change my book cover, then I'm going to send them a new email. Right? With the new book cover. And I want to see if they say it's a good fit for them then. Do you see what I'm saying? See, that book cover does wonders. The book cover does wonders, right? So I want to see what they're going to say about that new book cover. Is this going to be a fit? That new book, for, that new book cover is a fit everywhere. 
You know what I'm saying? If a store tell me my book ain't a good fit for them, I'll be goddamn if I don't cuss their ass out. Come on now. Let me go ahead and wrap this up, because I got people in the mall looking at me like I'm crazy. Like I'm talking to somebody or talking to myself. Oh, look, this is this is the new book cover, right? I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, bam. Right? So that, that's about as close as it gets. But they saying that it's too dark. Right? Now you tell me if this right here don't get them. If this don't knock their socks off, I don't know what will. Right? Huh. <laughs> Boy, look at him. They in trouble. <laughs> they in trouble. <laughs> I got to go get ready for my plane, man. Y'all, y'all playing games, man.